What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Twitter World Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off up on last time, uh, we recaptured the city of Caracas. We have uh, we have also we fought a little battle outside so battle outside Tripoli. But generally we've, we've been doing empire building and we've been attempting to uh, strengthen our position and primarily want to expand in the Americas, but you also want to do some limited ops against the Turkish, or the Ottomans rather, who are at war with Hungary, the United Provinces, Pirates, and the Italian states. So it would be nice to chip away at their wealth. Um, most likely by going through Cairo, because they've already lost Istanbul and Athens to Russia. We want to pick new technologies, so I probably want to get new model bayonet drill to gain charge bonuses because they're quite useful when you do the counter attacks you probably want to do wealth of nations because it's a very valuable one but then again separation of powers only takes one turn so you might go for that instead lots of successful missions because you've got lots of spies some general uh, upgrades but we've got to hit end turn so there is a great war in Europe at the moment and what we need to do is build up our strength in order to really do some damage when we get involved because ideally I'd like to just not get involved and instead work on a strategy of expanding in the Americas and expanding in Ottoman territory that would be perfect that's really not good I really don't want to have a border with Prussia because they will declare war on me for it which won't be the end of the world I suppose because we do got, we do have France in the way but it very much depends on France's ability to stand up against the the Prussians and how good our alliances are with them auto resolve so these are the guys who've already fought there you go, so you've got separation of powers. How happy are you now? Still not very. So you guys might have to wait in there for a few turns while we slowly convert the population. I mean, the upper classes love us. The upper classes really do love us, but religious unrest is bad across the board. So that's why we've got our priest in there. Misrata is going to take 43 turns to upgrade and so now we can build a local fishery now we know the rebels won't burn it down adrian detected okay just stay out there then kingston's been blockaded fortunately the spanish have managed to blockade most of our naval forces let's get this port upgrade because we know that cuba is struggling to export all their goods so i think what's likely to happen is well actually what naval, naval forces do I have here? Two fourths and a flute you're just a fifth okay so let's get well to be honest you guys need some repairs <laughs> race built Ganon the widow maker barracks here because these guys are ready to go storm another territory and that territory will probably be Bogota so I might march them out oh we can't actually get new infantry so I might cancel that building and recruit three line to start to act as a garrison and these guys can march onwards towards Bogota they're one unit short but that should be fine Weaver's Cottage in Portugal that's good these guys are replenishing. You need to get up to Madrid. Because they're going to be very unhappy when we build the school. Clamour reform is already up to 12. You also need to repair this. Pleasure Gardens will help. The coaching is being upgraded, which is good. still converting i want to get the religious unrest gone completely so it might take a few more turns for that guy to do his work uh, actually tripoli definitely needs converting we can tax them 
if we want to. But they make they give us so little cash that we may as well not bother. Let's see if we can make any more trade agreements. Nope, sadly not. Uh, what if we just made peace with Spain? Yeah, understandable. What about Russia? They're up against it. Give us England and we will have peace. No. <laughs> I'm not giving up England. London's earning us a bunch of tax income. Why would I give that up? I could start raiding here, really. Hmm. But I don't really want to risk my, my fleet getting ambushed by these guys. I'm not so bothered about most of it. It's the galleons and the second rates and the fourth rates that are the bother. And I would very much like to take out Morocco, but they're allied with the Mughals, so that's out of it. That's not a not up for up for debate. Russia's got rebellions going on. Yeah, it's really not good if the Austrians if the Prussians get control of uh, Rome. Because right now they are they're feeling a little bit fighty. The French are moving men to northern Italy. Hopefully that means they're at war with the Prussians. Spain's on the move to fight the pirates, that's good. <laughs> Oh god, alive. Well, there we go. If the Prussian may end up counter-attacking and capturing Rome, and then using that as our defensive position. I don't want to, but... No, just that. No. <laughs> uh, no, which means they're going to blockade our port. See, this is the thing. Russia is getting absolutely destroyed by uh, by Prussia and ooh, trade with the Mughals. Yes, they are so 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 fixated on me that they're building ships to harass my port, while at the same time um, getting dominated on the continent. That's the bit I don't get. <laughs> so which one's that again? Sivatyov so, Georgi. So, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Eight ships. Yeah, every so often I have to relearn why auto-resolving naval battles is a really bad idea. Because I'm dumb, apparently. But you kind of think, there are times where you just think, surely I've got such overwhelming firepower that now it doesn't matter. Surely. But no, it does. Um, but I want to get, or oh, realistically, I want to get you over here, actually. Get you aboard ship and capture these two regions. Obviously, I'm looking at this guy. I'm not so keen about him. Good, Cuba's got tobacco plantations, ports being blockaded and so on. But we should... well, not yet, actually. We, we've we still got three more turns to the ports built, and then... Only then will we know if we have enough port capacity. Good. The French are marching through northern Italy. Please, 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 please uh, destroy that Spanish city. That's not good. They're going to end up launching a small attack against us from somewhere, so I might have to move my navy up to intercept and destroy. It'd be nice if the French just attacked. Do they... do the Spanish own Sarnia? Yeah. According to the map, it looks like they... In which case, take them out. And I don't like this, because now the AI... Prussia's really trying to figure... <laughs> What's it, what's it computing? If 
who wants to go to war with us, most likely. At least you've still got one army in North Africa. Yeah, there go the new Spaniards. To be honest, I might just try and make peace with them. But then again, we tried that last time, and they just sailed an army around and took New Andalusia, which is why we need a garrison there, really. It might be worthwhile taking out the pirates. So we have a rake. Let's get a rake over in northern Italy. Port located Cabello, Port located Kingston. Let's get back to Europe and let's get over to Dry Dock. It's going to have to be a naval hospital. I'd like steam dry dock, but I'm probably not going to be able to afford it. Let's get a trade port. Let's fix that fella. There we go. We've got the school up and going in Sevilla. There's nothing really easy for a low-level school to research. Oh, yeah, there is. Carbines. Okay. New port emerges in New Andalusia. Okay, let's get a trade port built. Let's run a line of Fortuna over there into it. And then let's take this sixth rate over to here, around the areas of control. Invade and hit Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Let's go take out the pirates. So destroy the pirates, build up our garrison a bit in New Andalusia. And then next turn continue our march down to the southeast and hit those two regions in... Okay. So this will be an offensive war because they've got... or an offensive battle because they've got mortars. So that means artillery sit to the rear, lobbing shells. While our infantry pushes in. Cavalry out on the right flank, general's going to follow up. They do want to move up into our guns, they have an appetite for death, these ones do. There go the mortars, so let's change our artillery targets. Bring this regiment of horse up, so they can probably smash the pirate mob themselves and destroy them. These two units a bit further out can be stretched out to maximise their firepower against the individual unit. Damn, they've lost killed 70 men in that marine unit. Okay, you smash that pirate mob. Let's break their centre. Foot and they're being mowed down by the first regiment of horse decisively. Just 
keep pushing forward because the morale keeps they, their morale keeps getting better. Well, not better, but you know. So they're shattered. So let's go take out this light foot unit in order to make them make sure they route. New men push up here. We made them shattered. Good. Turn around and smash the fifth. Come on, the ninth. Make ready. Oh, there they go. They've unleashed their pistols. Okay, you guys push up like so. You guys push up like so. You guys push up like so. Sick the light foot. Obviously going to come back. So let's pivot you to engage them. can reload. Finish reloading. Then come and destroy the sick light foot. Okay, smash into the sick light foot because I'll probably be routing by the time my general gets there. One more volley. There they go. guys their main job is just to uh, push up to provide a, a defensive line so that if they do decide to come back <laughs> that they don't there we go there we go the general can just continue to attack them good keep killing them so we've lost a bunch of our cavalry here in this engaged slog but there we go now we all have our revenge General's been killed on a suicide charge. Dread Pirate Roberts has been shot from the saddle. There we go. Lovely. So there go the pirates. The frustrating thing is they weren't doing anything really to help us out. They were uh, causing us more problems. So let's fix the magistrate. Don't worry about replenishing. Let's pick up another unit of infantry first. Then replenish with what's left. Then we can march on and hit Panamaribo and Cayenne. Sweet. And then let's try and make peace with... We can trade with Prussia. Let's try trade. Oh, that's not good. They rejected us. They rejected it massively. Um, 
if they come after us in Naples, like I said, we will, we, we can try and fight them off. Um, I would I just need to settle things down here. It might be worth just trying to do peace and trade with the Ottomans. Nah, that's fair enough. We've got one army free over here that we can deploy. Oh no, it's France that owns these. Good. Um, is France at war with Spain? No, they're still allied with Spain, annoyingly. They're allied with Prussia as well. Can't ally, because they're allied with Spain. So let's try and make peace with the new Spain. Nope. Okay, how much next turn? Thirteen and a half thousand. Okay. Yeah, but the, the Franco-Prussian uh, alliance is a is a dangerous thing. Because they are quite the superpower. And I was I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't the Russia wouldn't fold quite so easily. Yeah, new Spaniards are going to continue to frustrate my efforts for global heg hegemony, hegemony, one of the two. 13,000. Okay, 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 okay. Let's be smart about this. Growing Weaver's Cottage is good because we get the We've got a 40% bonus from them as well. We've got 9,000. Hop over to the Americas. Pick up... A bit more of a garrison. A trading port. Good roads. Upgraded plantation. Upgraded governor's residence. Finish replenishing my men. Who may... Well, actually, let's recruit Buccaneers, because I wonder if I can actually leave Trinidad. Ah, if I f don't tax them, I can. So let's get them into... into their ships. And let's get them down to Paramaribo quicker, sooner rather than later. I mean, that's just going to be an altar, is all that. Hollow Horn Bear. Good. We don't have any towns down here, which is frustrating. So I can't get any priests down here. But we've at least got some diamond mine, gem mines, low yield sugar mine, low yield, uh, low yield spice mine, or spice plantation. So it's not quite as good. God, if we go to war with France, we're screwed. Hey, we're actually getting exports out of Caracas. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you definitely can't go anywhere. Resistance to foreign occupation is still so high, and so is religious unrest. And it's going to be 28 turns before Misrata grows, which will... Which isn't a, itself a massive problem because it gives our priest a good chance to uh, convert the population. I'm sorely traded, tempted to trade Naples away f to someone else to prevent it being a, a point of conflict. Uh, against us in the Prussian War.
I'd probably trade it to... Maybe I'll trade it to Spain for peace. So I would give it to France, but France is strong enough. But I want it to be someone that could cause a diplomatic problem in future. And to me, that sounds like Spain. Spain's already very weak. So giving it to them won't be a massive problem. And it means that if Prussia wants to take it, then they'll declare war on Spain, which will complicate their alliance with France. Because I'm not going to put the money in to defend it. I'm just not. I need a full army and a fort, which is probably 30, 40 grand, something like that. You can see we can really spend the money elsewhere. New model bayonet drill. Cool. So we've got new stuff that we can research. I'm not going to demolish anything. But I'm going to give Major Nations Spain. Open request peace. Hello, ally with, try ally with them. And I'll offer Naples. Good. Now you're ally with them. So now, Prussia has less of a reason to declare on us. They're oh God, they've taken Istanbul. They have less of a reason to declare on us. They don't have... They don't have any... Well, they have no borders with us, so they have less reason to seek conflict with us, which is exactly what I want. Uh, let's pick up Militia and Cav, you guys can both be um, disbanded. So that will cost us income, although we've actually got more, because uh, Spain is no longer blockading all our stuff. Well, I say all our stuff. Okay, let's rebuild the port, let's rebuild the magistrate, let's upgrade or we'll replenish our army. Can you leave Paramaribo? Just about, but let's spend a turn replenishing. And let's upgrade some of these gem shafts. We must upgrade everything, everything across the board. And roads. Our buccaneers who occupy Puerto de España. Good stuff. How's your infrastructure doing? Could get metal rows, but I don't want to improve their ability to march on me. So, because my priest has... My agent now has, like, a, a spy network. I can see everything going on within the region. That's where I can see all of these armies running around. think the name of the game might be yeah, just keep upgrading ports I guess well I suppose I'd probably be better off grading one of the ports here nearer well maybe actually craft workshop to get an extra 200 per turn to the region and gain more per turn to town wealth that'd be a good idea and again, let's pick up some guns. They start to build this up to be an actual army that can fight against the new Spaniards. So what about now, France? Oh, I can't ally again because they're allied with New Spain. But they're very friendly with us. And now we're not at war. We're not on the borders with Prussia. They may... Well, I was hoping they may trade with us. Okay. So then you don't become a church school. There's nothing else really to build, so I might spend the money on replenishing these guys. Can't rebuild the craft workshop. Resistance to foreign occupation is still going down here, so if we move them out. Minus five, that's pretty big. Oh yeah, they're no longer blockading our port here. Uh, that's quite the navy that Prussia's got building there. It's their only at war with Russia, that's their only enemy. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What? Why? Well, Spain, who are you going to choose? And is everyone in the world going to join them? Spain didn't join them, but neither did anyone else. We can fight the French. The main, the main goal will be to hold in Europe while pushing in the Americas. Now we've got carte blanche to uh, land land in the United States and expand and grow and take the America's wealth for us. So I don't want to take Paris. I really don't. I don't want Prussia to be on my borders. So I'm more than happy to just hold against Spain. Hold against France, sorry. And continue to push elsewhere. So we will lose trade income for that. We can't unfortunately replace it with anyone else. So let's get an Iron Masters upgrade. Let's uh, get a sloop to sit in Cadiz. I can really do with you guys not freaking out so much. Well, you chaps. Recruit some more men. Let's hop over to the Americas. Oh god, they can upgrade everything again. The new port is successfully exporting everything. Let's open let's get one tobacco warehouse. Probably upgrade the drill school. Keep recruiting here. You guys can leave Paramaribo. You can. One turn, they'll just write a letter. You guys replenish as much as you can and march down to Cayenne. Windwind Islands are a bit of a concern, but we will, we will invade them on our way back north. So this army is going to take Cayenne, take Martinique, take Nassau, and they will probably land in the US, and they'll probably land in Boston, right in the middle of the nest of them, but that's a city that we can actually or do they take Philadelphia? Because we can defend Philadelphia much easier with its fortified position. Trinidad and Tobago has got new roads still on 14 grand, only trading with Sweden and the Mughal Empire can't trade with anyone else I mean I'd really like to make peace with you Spain too bad we managed to, we lost our alliance with Spain, but at least we're not at war with them anymore. They're not at war with anyone, which means they're probably going to come after us again because we're the human player. See, why aren't you? Oh, I wish you got brought into the war against the Prussians to just keep them occupied. Hmm. Okay, so you try infiltrate Paris. In order to get visibility on the entire region, you guys go. You go north to act as early warning. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's a lot, lot more I can do. So I'm going to hit one more in turn. Let this guy carry on doing diamond research, uh, researching diamond. You instead can go on to wealth of nations, Oxford. Let's hit one more in turn. to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Spanish fleet is going home. Which is good. But yeah, right now what I very much need is to expand in the Americas as quickly as possible. I'd also like Lisbon to chill out so I can march their garrison into a better position to defend or help defend Madrid. Although, actually, one army in Madrid is enough to defend it, is more than enough to defend it. And if I keep an army near Lisbon, it will stop them from 
swinging around the rear. Dutch Guyana. Yeah, they've written a letter of complaint. Let's drop a unit of my weakest unit of infantry to march back. Let's settle them down. Let's build a governor's residence. You guys hit Cayenne, which is that's an auto resolve. You guys replenish. Hello, new Spanish galleons. Get the gold mine going. Get the spice plantation going. Get the magistrate repaired. Get new roads. Drop an infantry unit in the port. Okay, we've got lots of basic things we can upgrade here. Let's get this brig down to Cinemary. So our colonial line can regroup, regroup with the main force. Don't worry about ports yet, because they can still upgrade. They can still export everything. I mean, you do get the wider benefit when it comes to uh, town wealth, but upgrading ports. But right now I'm looking for the cheaper things. Like better roads. It's a low yield sugar plantation, which isn't ideal. And low yield spice plantation as well, which also isn't ideal. Sugar's actually worth more than spice, so I'm probably better off trying to upgrade this high yield sugar plantation in Cuba for now. All of our money is going to Sweden and the Mughal Empire. Sweden, we have a particularly large uh, long-term trading partner bonus. Um, but yeah, I think, looking at the timer, this is time to end the episode, because there's not immediately anything that's going to hop out. We're going to be doing a bit more empire management, at least well, at least until I sail up and hit Martinique. Uh, but Cayenne earns very little money, but that's because they haven't got the gold mine built, which adds 1,800 immediately. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Sorry these parts are a bit slow, but don't worry. They will heat up. And uh, hope you guys continue watching in future. Radio. Cheers, everyone.